reading is for Pisces for the second half of March 2023 love reading. What is going on for Pisces in their love life? We have the two of cups and the hangman at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So, hangman is you, Pisces. And two of cups is a partnership. So you may be having a hard time you know, getting a good perspective about your current partnership or a potential partnership, but that's what I'm here for, to help you figure out. So we have the Six of Cups, so a lot of you are re reuniting or would like to reunite with somebody from the past. Could possibly be a Virgo for some of you, but you're being very introspective about this, very nostalgic, thinking back. Um, some of you could even be reflecting on your childhood uh, to see, you know, your own patterns that you may be carrying with you because, you know, the hermit is a card of inter introspection. So, you know, finding that wisdom, that gold within, transmuting, you know, past traumas and, and you know, patterns. So, excuse me. So we have the seven of swords in the past. So, you may have deceived someone or felt deceived or been deceived here with the Seven of Swords. Um, but I do feel like this also is kind of going back to that root thing that you're trying to find. You know, why you might choose certain partners or why your relationships might aren't always sort of end up turning out in the same way. So with that being said, you know, you're looking for the root of that here. And I feel like your subconscious mind may be hiding it from you, you know, um, with the Seven of Swords. Because this, it can be a card of deceit or getting away with something. But it can also be a card of uh, self-deception as well. So you're looking for where you may be deceiving yourself. Like what the cause of that is. Where maybe you have some false premises. And that may make you choose the wrong partners, wrong partners for you. Or potentially just make you sabotage connections pull this down here so with that being said we have the wheel of fortune in the coming days and weeks position so i feel like you know this is a good time to be doing this inner work and reflection you know you're not ready to really you're still looking for clarity i'm getting with the ace of swords in reverse at the root of the reading and you know you're not really sure which direction you want to go in all you know is that when you are ready you will make that decision clearly and concisely but until then you know you're just trying to find that clarity so in the coming days and weeks with the wheel of fortune in reverse you just you know you feel like things are going to happen in divine timing and so you're not pushing or rushing anything uh, we're going to pull some clarifiers on that and then we have the five of pen or sorry the six of pentacles and the month or two outcome and i also feel you know that would be around Taurus season which is the end of april through may so about a month to two months out um and so with the six of pentacles you know you're looking for a relationship with reciprocity with balance with harmony um and generosity as well you know going both ways so you're not going to settle you know here you want to make sure that you kind of have command over over the direction that the relationship goes but also making sure that it's an equal give and take before you invest all right, so let's go ahead and pull a, I was called to use this deck actually, and then I pulled out the traditional deck. But if you do watch your rising or your moon sign videos, um, I have all the earth and fire signs up and the air signs will be coming out with new water. But if you watch those, you'll see I use different decks. So or if you want to cross watch. So at the bottom of this deck, we have the lovers and the nine of swords in reverse. So I feel like some of you may have been in an energy of worrying or staying up late, but you've been able to ease your mind. If, But some of you might want to look out for, you know, even suppressing your thoughts just to keep your mind clear because then you're not doing that inner work. But I feel like a lot of you just kind of had to um, be in a Zen moment for a while. And with the lovers, you know, you feel like there's a decision that has to be made now i'm not seeing any specific connections so i feel like a lot of you are keeping it very general you know looking looking at the past but then you know keeping the future pretty open here sort of waiting again for more clarity before you can really get that vision about what you want it may be that you had another vision as well and it's just 
you're not sure if you were lying to yourself we feel like some of you are in a state of confusion about that oh my goodness we have the six of cups again clarifying the six of cups and the hermit here so a lot of you are just very nostalgic and in the past and thinking about you know old connections childhood or just you could just be really longing for a particular soulmate here can i get one more clarifier with the six of cups just to give us a little perspective <laughs> And as I pull perspective, I get the hangman. And the hangman, again, is your energy, Pisces. But you're just looking at everything from every angle. You know, you're looking at this most recent connection, maybe a present connection that you're in, like a situation ship. Or even if you've been in a relationship for a long time, you may be contemplating where you want it to go and the outcome. Now, I feel like Pisces as a mutable sign, and Libra even does this too, you could spend too much time trying to figure it out and not actually living, you know, and just, you know, day by day that's something I have a lot of Pisces in my chart and I have to be reminded sometimes you know to take it day by day make the most out of each day rather than worrying so much about the future and you know there are also sayings about you know what is this? the real simple one is um the past is oh my goodness you guys my brain um the past, you know, doesn't exist anymore and the future is unknown. So, you know, live in the gift of the present or something like that. I know I mixed like three of those sayings, but, you know, the gift is the present. So you can't get anywhere. You should visualize your future and then let it go so that you know, and trust the universe that it's manifesting. Um, but you only need to check in and revise that, you know, maybe once a month, you know. <laughs> you got to let the energy flow towards it and stay out of the details. So I just had the Knight of Pentacles show up here. Um, I'm not going to take the rest of them, but, you know, some of you could very well be dealing with an earth sign. But this is also telling you to make that plan, you know, just get clear on your vision. And you don't have to worry so much about the future. And again, in regards to how it's going to happen, um, you just say, this is what I want, A, B, and C. That's the plan. It's very matter of fact, Knight of Pentacles. And then he very slowly moves from A, B, to see you know and those could be linear like a is an equal goal to b or it could be you know in succession you know like a is the easiest goal to achieve and then c would be the greatest accomplishment but you know in the law of attraction they do say that you can manifest a castle as easy as a button pisces so you know, it's Pisces season, you know, we're going into Aries season, but some of the planets, Venus might hang around in Pisces for a while. I'd have to double check that, but, um, yeah, so I'm just saying that basically it's a good time to not use your mind energy to dwell and replay past situations, but to just visualize, you know, the, I always like to, and I actually tell one of my Pisces friends this all the time, you know, when they say you're if you visualize like okay you just want a good car you're just going to get if that's the highest standard then you're just going to get you know a decent car but if you visualize you know that you want a Bentley yeah. then you might end up with a nice uh, I, this wouldn't be really an equivalent but price range wise like a nice Range Rover that you never thought you could have afforded because you just put your eye on the Bentley and you didn't worry about how or when it was going to come. You just enjoyed what that feeling would be like of having it. So we have the five of wands in reverse clarifying the wheel of fortune in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are having to let go of some drama. You know, if there was competition, you're walking away. But um, you feel like a lot of things that you thought were worth fighting for before are just not anymore. Um, but with that comes clarity, with that detachment. And then we have the tower here. So that's some big, fast changes coming in for you. Pull some more of the sun in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse. So I read reversals as blockages. And I'm getting the message, you know, uh, sort of making lemonade out of lemons, you know. You're going to have this tower moment. It's going to create a lot of changes for you. And it may be very uncomfortable. But if you, you could stay, I just feel like you could stay out you know, in the rubbish, digging through, trying to find your treasures for a while, or you could just start rebuilding. The longer you stay in the rubble, you know, the longer that you prolong this happy new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun, with a lot of potential for a lot of security 
and stability. So, you know, make sure that when this tower comes down, it may feel like the world is ending, but just know that everything happens for a reason. And if you can kind of stay in that and keep looking to the sky, like you said, that highest, you know, outcome that you can, you know, don't even believe is possible. You want to, yes, like again, you say you want to own, you know, a house and so you're like oh I want a one bedroom house no you need to imagine the biggest house you could ever imagine right bigger than you could ever dream that you could own and then just you know when you're in your imagination just be happy like and kind of boost yourself up it's almost like a mind trick like oh I live in that house and I own that house and just that changes your mindset of like the Elmer, Elmer O. Locker Jr. channel I like to watch a lot you know he says you have to change your mindset about yourself that's why a lot of people win the lottery and then they lose it right away because their mindset didn't change to be a millionaire. So you want to make yourself a millionaire now. Biggest house. Like, even if you know that, you know, if you practically do these steps from A to C, like I'm saying, um, that you may only ever in your life be able to afford a two-bedroom house. If, if you can ever get a down payment for a house, some of us, you know, I shouldn't say us, but, you know, um, so, uh, you, but it's like the more you live in that imaginary mansion, you know, the easier, then you might actually end up with a four bedroom house that you never would have dreamed, but it was just because you set the bar so much higher. So that's probably going to be the title of your reading, Pisces, like you know, raise the bar, right? So the six of pentacles with the eight of swords in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse. So the good thing that I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that you are working on getting out of your head so much. But again, I don't remember where that clarifier was. You want to be co cognizant about not um, doing this by suppressing things. So it's like you say when some, you know, you find yourself ruminating or replaying old scenarios or reliving them emotionally, you know, you manifest more emotionally than anything. So you want to say, okay, I see you. I'm working on you. Thank you. I release you. You know, and, and then try to divert your attention to anything else that you can, whether it be like, you know, the grass and how green it is because it's been, you know, raining and or, you, you know, just, oh, how comfortable your couch is and appreciating it like when you first got it. Just anything to get your mind off of it. And then when you feel good after maybe a, a while of pivoting, as they call it, your emotional state and your attention, then you can start to live in that, you know, dream mansion or dream relationship. Um and I, so make sure that you're releasing it in that way and not as just a, I'm going to suppress this, push this down, you know, um, or you can even ask the universe, you know, what, show me what the root is that's causing you these problems. And you'd be surprised what kind of revelations you would have in the coming days and weeks, especially if you do it right before you fall asleep. So can we get a little bit about any love interest coming in for Pisces? Because I feel like this has a lot more to do with their internal state and their circumstances right now. Is there anyone coming in to be reciprocal with Pisces? Any specific lover? So we have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So the Two of Wands, you know, I'm getting this old message from... It's when I really started learning tarot. Someone, you know, taught me, a guru. Uh... I often read this two of wands in a lot of different ways. Usually I'm just like, hey, you know, are you guys at a distance? Are you working remote? That's the most evident when the two of wands shows up, depending on the position. But here I'm reminded that this man has the whole world in his hands right here, you know, and he can see far off into the distance, into the future, like I'm telling you. Um, but with that um, comes great responsibility. You know, making sure that you're using your mind and your emotions wisely. And and there can be a lot of pressure when you're dealing with, you know, when you take a foreign trip. Now, nowadays it's really easy and everything. But back in the day, you know, you sailed on a ship for a long time. You, If you got off course, you may never find land. So it's a big responsibility to take a long, a far journey. You know, a lot of people never leave their homeland, uh, you know. Some people, even in the United States, have never left their city or been on a plane. So, um, six of wands here and the three pentacles in reverse. I'm just feeling a lot of resistance. I feel like you, there's a lot of battles that you're fighting. This goes back to this five of wands in reverse that you're going to be releasing. Um, but you're still very defensive. And this is what's making you feel unstable. This lack of clarity and just sort of, I'm just feeling a lot of resistance here. So these two, oh, okay, so three more just came out as I was 
So we'll pull these and then, um, well now I'm gonna wanna clarify this two of cups. <laughs> okay, so, and then we'll wrap it up. But the eight of pentacles in reverse, also with the three of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse, and kind of also the six of pentacles here. It's a lot of pentacles energy. Again, so a lot of you are dealing with earth signs. Tor you know, ace of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with that said, um, it's like I'm getting a message here. I'll just put these down for a second. Um, where you may not be actually investing much time or energy. Or you're kind of, you know, that give and take you're looking for. You have to give in order to receive. So it's almost like I feel like you're holding back. Because you're worried that it won't be reciprocated and so you don't want to put too much in but in reality there's a lot that you have to give and a lot that you want to put in but you're just not, you're holding off because you want to make sure that it's reciprocal first so you're not going to do it for just anyone but it's sort of a stubborn energy that i'm getting from you pisces it's just interesting because you're not typically a stubborn sign but i, I feel like there could be that bit of indecisiveness so i'm sorry i just it was the eight of pentacles in reverse here so but once you let go and you start to just invest, that's when you're going to have this Ace of Wands, Passion, and Beginning, and Two of Cups, this partnership. Full clarifier for the Two of Cups, King of Wands in reverse. So um, I feel like also you're not sure how this person feels about you for some of you, but... And some of you may re be rejecting a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but it actually might be the person that you need to partner with. Like a lot of Pisces I know deal with Aries because you two share a lot of personal planets. It's like this is your ideal partner. You could have this big new passionate beginning with that would be willing to invest a lot with you. But it's like has to be equal. And that way you get this two of cups, this reciprocal partnership, loving energy, passionate new beginning. But... It's almost like until you're willing to invest, this person is absent. Yeah, they're out in the cold, five of pentacles. So for some reason, you're disconnected. And it doesn't have to be a fire sign, even though, you know, ace of wands. It definitely could be earth sign too, somebody with fire and earth in their chart. But it's like you're over here wanting to invest and have a big new beginning. But for some reason person that you it's either like you can't get the person that you want or they're absent or there's some reason why but the energy is present again so you can turn this around um but somehow you have to they're out in the cold so they could be putting you out or you're putting them out but that's not what you want here you want to connect with them so it could be kind of going back to doing that shadow work finding those roots to figure out why you would be disconnected from something that's right there for you. Yeah, it's like you could go from this person's energy being in the five of pentacles to the page of cups, flirting again, fun, um, starting back up, building this two of cups um, bond. And I feel like the two of cups isn't really a bond building because we're dealing with cups and emotions, right? It's more of that, it's that flow like this. Um, I forget what this thing is called, but it's actually the medical symbol you know that's on everything so it's there's a synergy here it's rahu and k2 but um <laughs> i could really dig into the to the metaphysical theology behind it but um so this becomes like an energy exchange a flow a synergy that creates this third entity above them or that brings the divine into the union right so alone and this kind of goes into biblical but like alone each person has to be in communion with God, like this is a cup of communion or the divine, but when they come together, then God is able to flow into their lives, you see, because two gathered in, in his name, they say, and this applies, you know, across many different belief systems, but in the Bible, it uh, explicitly says, like, two gathered in my name, I shall be there, so that's what this two of cups, <laughs> sorry about that, so that's, that's, that's confirmation right there, you guys, so that's what this two of cups is saying, um, you know, you've got to get in this sort of page of cups energy, this fun, friendly energy, to get that flow going again, rather than just, you know, kind of shutting the door on them and holding it closed, even though they're what you want the most, you know, king of wands is very attractive, and with the ace of wands, you want this, okay, um, but, and you're working on it, 
but you got to invest a little more time and energy into it rather than just, again, kind of just saying, I can't deal with this right now. It's too much energy. Really, you're only pushing out, you know, it's really only five pentacles that you have to um, invest, but it feels like too much for you. When really you'll be happy sitting here with the eight of pentacles really chipping away because you're going to get so many rewards from the synergy and then also because you're going to get something back. The king of wands is very ambitious and a business owner and definitely can contribute to the relationship. And this could be a female or a male king of wands here. And again, it could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we have a lot of earth energy here. So I'm going to leave it at this, Pisces. Uh, definitely just um, go back and review this again to kind of see how to work through that energy of manifesting and letting go of the past. And remember, you know, I see you, I accept you, I release you. Thank you, I release you. And then, you know, stick to that bigger picture future. So I hope this helps to bring you some clarity, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and light. Oh, also, and if you're single and you do believe in astrology, I would like you to um, submit to the Divine Timing Database.org. I have the link below. It just popped up on the screen. You should really do that uh, because the more people that submit, the more people that we can match. And it's, you know, the back end is really cool. You can get acquainted without having to give your personal information, but you will be matched astrologically. So if you are single and, you know, you're just feeling a little hopeless with this situation or um you know you're just kind of it is a case of maybe this person is not connecting with you i would highly suggest that you submit to divine timing database but other than that um do like and subscribe so that i can get more video content out to you i have a lot of astrology videos too for those of you that love astrology a lot of compatibility videos we have the celebrity synastry series and the big one for four series where i cover all the sun moon and rising signs so definitely check those out and um happy birthday to you pisces i forgot to mention that in the beginning and i'm sending you all love blessings and light